All right, before we head to the creek, um, I just want to remind everybody about the contest that we did last week. So I'm going to be announcing the winner at the end of the video. But uh, this is the gold that you'll be winning. This is a half a gram from the Crisson Mine. This is hard rock gold. Got a little 0 0.3 picker there, uh, but a total of 0.5 grams. Also, I promised a large raw ruby, but... Um, I just kind of figured I'd add some more stuff, like how about this amethyst right here, how about this citrine right here, how about this emerald right here, and how about this really cool um, pyrite specimen, it's got the quartz on it already, so kind of stepped up the uh, contest prize a little bit, so let's head out to the creek. Welcome back to episode 7 of Rookie Gold Prospector. I'm out here at the same creek as I was in my last episode. I found a good spot to dig. Uh, I had a pretty good spec count uh, last time I was up here last weekend. So I'm just going to clean out the whole spot. I'm going to get all the way down to the bedrock. Then I'm going to suck off the bedrock and see how much we can get. I got the sluice box set up today. Um, I'm going to give it a third shot and uh, see how we're doing. So this is a spot that I found last time that I got that best spec count in. I kind of got this blocked off a little bit, but the water was shooting straight under to there. Um, there's quite a few gravels. Um, and you know, every shovel, I seem to be getting a few specks. I'm gonna dig this whole thing out right here. We're gonna get all the way down to bedrock, and clean the whole thing out and see how much we get. So I took my time to try to get this sluice box set up right. Now the V's pretty close to the middle and uh, the riffles, they're cleaning out pretty evenly. So I think I'm in pretty good shape. Um, I forgot one of my wing nuts so I don't have the flare on the end. But it seems to be working okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up some buckets with uh, some classified material, classified down to a quarter inch. And uh, let's check it out. Got to get everything all classified here down to quarter inch. All right. So I'm thinking that a uh, third time's a charm. Uh, put this on there. My little scoop. And let's see how it clears out. It's clearing out up there. Down here. It, I think it's going to build up right here no matter what. Um, just because the way this folding backpack sluice is, there's a ridge right there. And so I don't think that it, that's going to clear out too easily. But I think I'm still in pretty good shape. I mean, you see right here. It's building up behind the riffles. Let's see. I mean, I think we're doing okay. I'm going to keep an eye on this indicator mat and see if any gold starts to show up there. I mean, you can see the indicator mats exchanging. So that's exactly what we want. Look at the black sand building up right there. Probably get some gold accumulating right there too. Let's see here. At the current moment, I don't see anything, but I'm going to keep scooping here. And if I see something, I'll bring the camera back. I got my first piece of gold in the indicator here. Check that out right there. All right. Oh, shoot. I just made it float away. But there it is. That's why you don't stick your fingers in the riffles because, oh, look, there's another one right there. Wow, we got two of them already. Wow, let's keep going. Wow, there's actually one there and one there and one there wow our spot's still producing check out that little chunky one right there nice wow look at oh, look at all the little ones up there wow 
Hey, this is looking pretty good. All right, we got it, got it cleared up pretty good. We're gonna dig out, take out some of these bigger rocks here, and I'm just gonna suck up everything off the bedrock. I'm gonna try to lick it clean. Chewing through it now, getting it all cleaned up. We're having a great day, I'll tell you what. My cameraman's been doing some pans over here, and he's finding gold too. As a matter of fact, he found his first gold ever. I just wanted to say, so you probably saw me break this last time, um, and some people suggested that I reach out to Kane. So I actually uh, messaged the owner himself, and he offered to replace it. But I don't think I'm gonna take him up on it. I, I like it the way it is. It's working just fine. Um, I can actually, you know, suck up from a bigger area. Um, I mean, it's good to be able to pinpoint with the tip that was on here. But I'm I'm uh, making this work pretty well. So I know that the ripples are exchanging the way they should. You can see the material in there bouncing around. That's a very good thing. And behind the ripples is almost all black sand. So I know the heavies are getting filtered down to the bottom. And you know, I still got my gold. Look, look at that. I mean, we're finding some cool stuff. I found, well, I didn't find. My cameraman found one that has some red on it. So he snuffed that one up. And I'll show it to you guys later. It's pretty cool. It's almost a picker. I'm not sure if it is or not, but um, it's a decent size. And it's stained red, which is really weird. Now, the water's a little murky, so I'm not sure how well you can see it. Oh dang, there's some more gravels right there I should've dug up. But I got this mostly cleaned up down to bedrock, except there's a lot of silt and stuff down in there. Um, I'd love to stick my face in there with a mask and snorkel. But I'm going to remember this spot and I'm going to come back when I'm sniping and I'm going to scrape off this bedrock and dig down in the crevices. That sluice is still working great. See, it's still exchanging. I still got some uh, gold up here in the indicator map. Boom. And some tiny ones in there too. But uh, we're going to keep going. Here's another spot. We did some test pans over here. Found some good stuff. Uh, we're cleaning this out right here. And uh, we're just going to keep going. Keep running material. We got the sluice box running great. Showing up. There's not too many chunky looking pieces, but there's a lot of smaller ones in there too. Let's keep going. I mean, this couldn't be working more perfectly. We've got behind the riffles full of black sand, but in the middle of the riffle is nice and clean. There's nothing building up. I mean, third time is a charm. I mean, I think it's pretty cool how this is exchanging. You see all those little tiny uh, pieces of lead or whatever they are just kind of jiggling around in there. Even that piece of gold. Look at that one right there. Wow, it's almost too big to fit in the mat. Man, look at all that black sand coming out. Wow. So, it builds up here still. Oh, better get that big rock here. I think I'm okay to touch this riffle right here, but just don't touch those. These all look pretty good down here. Ugh, this last one. Having a little trouble clearing out the last one. I don't know, but I don't want to touch it. Because the rest of them look good. 
and that's where most of the gold is going to chill. So I'm going to keep going here. All right, we're about ready for a clean out now. The back of the riffles, it's pure black sand. Um, I'm going to pick up the end slowly and I'm going to stick it down in my bucket. Like this. There we go. Now to make sure I get all the gold out of these indicators, that's where I saw a bunch of it, so definitely don't want to lose that. We got a lot of finds up there. A few decent colored pieces. That one has got a red stain on it, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's iron or what it is, but I think we might move the scale with this, but uh, we'll find out whenever I get home. Okay, I'm back at the house. Once again, I got my gold all cleaned up, ready to see if it moves the scale. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's gonna move the scale this time. Um, but uh, just not sure how much. It might be a little bit less than what I got last time. So it's kind of unfortunate considering that I ran so much more material and through a sluice box. But um, let's put it on the scale and find out exactly how much I got. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Let's fire up the scale here. Okay, there we go. Put on the tray, hit the tear. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Wow. 0.18. Which is actually hilarious because my very first weigh in was exactly 0.18. So that's pretty crazy. All right, though, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and see what the career total is real quick. Might as well throw it all on there. And this is my third weigh-in, so let's see where we're at. My career total is 0.4 grams. All right, here's my career total of 0.4 grams. In a pan. A few little chunky things in there. I'm not sure if any of them are a picker or not. If any of them are pickers, it's going to be this one right here. And wow, check that out. That's a picker. I picked it up with two fingers. That is a legit picker. Nice. I'm going to do my best to focus on this one here. See if we can see the red staining. It's pretty interesting. I wonder what that's from. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments. And last but not least, we put it next to a clutch guitar pick for size reference. So the gold I'm giving away is actually more than what I've mined in total in my entire career. So it's kind of funny actually, but uh, let's find out who the winner is. All right, here we go. I got uh, the URL put in there, and I'm going to hit start. Terry Murphy is the winner from Wicklow, Ireland. 
Wow, Terry loves my videos. That's awesome. So I'm going to have to ship something to Ireland. I've never shipped something overseas. But Terry Murphy, please send me a message or reply to your comment. And um, you can send me your shipping information. I'll get this all figured out. So uh, send that to me as quickly as you can. Or you can email it. It's rookiegoldprospector at gmail.com. Congratulations, Terry Murphy, on winning a half a gram of gold and some various gems. All right, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for stopping by. It's super important that you subscribe if you like this type of video. Leave a comment. Press the like button. Channel's starting to grow really fast, which is awesome, but uh, I could really use your help with the subscription. So please hit that subscribe button.